So after working in an office building for a couple of years, you come to realization that a couple of things happen, especially with elevators. Certain situations occur and you just have to go with the flow, or not. For example, Have you ever had it happen where you're the only one in the elevator and one person comes in and they pick the spot right beside you for no reason? I like to have my own personal bubble. Okay, so they probably don't touch you as well, but still that'd be pretty awkward. Though, if the person that comes in happens to be hot, then it could be a different story. The worst is when there's two people trying to talk to each other and you're caught in the middle. They're like right here. Why? So what you got up to last night? this really great date action. Oh yeah. Yeah. Except at the end of the night, kind of were fooling around. And totally moved my eye. Oh my god. It just, it just went all red. That was just really painful. Are you okay? What happened? I don't know. Can you see? It's, it's kind of red. Yeah. It's kind of red. Did you try glycine? No. Do you have a joint? Or there's that moment when the doors open and you notice that there's a couple in there, engaged, sexually. Okay, I understand being alone in the elevator and checking to see if there's anything in your teeth or in your nose or whatever, but when there's somebody else there, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of awkward. And then we come to annoying situations. Yeah! Alright, so you go in the elevator, you press the button for your floor, somebody else comes in and presses the same button and keeps pressing it, I'm like, it's not going to make you go any faster, right? That's close. Why do you keep pressing it? Uh, pressing it doesn't make it go faster, you know. Are you just trying to drive me crazy? Like, why do you need to keep pressing it? Hmm, basic bitch. Excuse me? Nothing. Everybody knows that if you go in the elevator, do not go on your phone because it's gonna cut out. Hi. Yeah, I'm gonna be late for the meeting. Yeah, no, I, uh, hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 John? John? If you have a carrier that will not cut out in an elevator, please let me know because I have never heard of one. Hey, did you get all that? Hello? Hello? John? And then there are those times when the elevator just gets jam-packed and you get squished to the back of the elevator with no room to move. <laughs> like none. Like. <laughs> you basically meld with the wall. <laughs> oh, okay. This one's not bad. Ugh, and then you get the elevator rides with sick coworkers. How are you feeling? <coughs> um. <ugh. coughs> I don't know. If you're gonna be sick, maybe you should stay home instead of sneezing all over everybody and getting everybody sick. And then you have those guys that try to be a gentleman and let everybody else out of the elevator. After you. After you. After you. After you. Except for you. What makes this one even better is when everybody's too polite to leave first. You go first. Oh, no, no, you go first. No, no, you go, go first. Please. 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 Okay. 
Okay, here we go, rude. So everyone's nicely waiting for the elevator, you know, in a nice little line. It's pretty clear that people are waiting, right? Doors open. Somebody just jets right in, right in front of you. Hello, did you, were you not looking? Oh, excuse me. And then you have the opposite where everybody's trying to leave. Meanwhile, they're just trying to come in and it's just, you get this thing. Everybody knows you let the people out first before you go in. So this is one of my personal favorites. The fart. It's not a long ride, you could hold it in. And then you have it when the doors open, there's clearly enough space for you to fit, but nobody wants to move. Like... And then you have these situations, which are just the icing on the cake after a hard day at work. <laughs> like this just makes your day. Hold the elevator! So I'm sure I've missed something. Share your pain below, in the comment box, let me know what's going on. We can share the pain together, it's okay. We'll get through this. We will get through this, okay? Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.